we gather in the aftermath, the fraud aftermath in India, of a horrific crime, a rape, a gang rape and murder of a 23-year-old young woman on a bus in Delhi in December. And the aftermath has involved enormous amounts of civic activism, social movement, demands that the government respond more vigorously to crimes against women, violence against women. And so today, here in Jaipur, we'll take up the question, is rape a special kind of crime? And we'll explore some of the questions that are raised by this recent episode of violence against women. Who does not think that rape is worse than other forms of violent assault? Yes. Hi, I'm Sucheta, and I'm from Bombay. And I think uh, both rape and uh, the selection of male children are both the manifestation of the fact that we are a sexually repressed society. That's what makes women think that if I lose my virginity, I've lost my life. Rubbish. If I lose my hand, I've lost my livelihood. Nobody looks at it as seriously. Why not? If I am the only daughter of my parents and I'm expected to look after them in their old age, I need to have my hands to look after them. I don't need my virginity. I wouldn't place that... <laughs> I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Um, play to the male requirement for virginity. I think it is a male-dominated society that makes rape such a violent crime. I don't think, and, and, and women tend to allow that to happen, and I don't agree with that. And so, you think, do you think that the best way of overcoming the inequality of women is to assert a parallel mm -hmm. between rape and non-sexual violent assault? Absolutely. I think by giving rape that kind of importance, you're denying yourself as an identity. My identity is more than my virginity. My identity is me as a person in society who can do things, uh, I mean, you know, uh, create a life beyond being a virgin when I'm married. I mean, Great. what the hell is that? Great. Stay, stay there. Thank you. Hold on to the microphone because I want to hear, that's a very interesting argument. I want to hear from someone who disagrees, from someone who does not think that rape is on a par with other kinds of violent assault. Who would like to respond to this question? Yes. Stand up. So I agree with you in part, but I disagree as well. I do believe that because I'm a woman, biologically, forceful penetration of a man into me is the most brutalist form of violence that I can possibly, my body and my being, can possibly experience as a woman. So while I agree with the part that being a virgin is not important, rape, I feel, is, is assaulting my being born as a woman, because being born as a woman, I do come with a vagina and I do come with a certain physical weakness. And it is this aspect that I feel is being assaulted. The second thing I feel, I don't believe that rape and other forms of violent attack, I don't feel that rape is more heinous. Sometimes I believe that if a woman is subjected to physical assault over and over again, like in her marriage, or even at a workplace, if a boss doesn't rape you, but he knows you're a woman, and so he can get away with a lot of sexual talk or whatever, I feel over time it can impact a woman and be a, a sort of a mental rape, if you may. So I feel that in terms of, I, I, would, I would put rape on par with a, a very, very brutal, violent attack uh, against your very being, even beyond the physical, you know, and only a woman can experience that. What do you say? Well, I don't agree with the fact that she says being a woman... No, no, speak directly to her. I don't agree, Sabina, with the fact that you say that being a woman and having a, a hymen is like having a weakness. No. 
No, I wouldn't let any part of my body, any one part of my body define me so completely. I agree with you when you say that rape is a heinous crime, but then so are a lot of others. And um, I think what you're looking at is a very narrow definition of rape. I mean, um, is oral sex okay? Uh, and if, if that's how somebody rapes you, is that okay? No, I don't think that's okay either. I'm not saying that rape is okay in any form. All I'm saying is that it's as bad as any other uh, intent to harm an individual. I wouldn't All put right. it on a pedestal, that's it. All right, you want to avoid putting it on a pedestal. Sabina, you say, but it's beyond the physical attack, it's an attack on a woman's very being. That was the phrase you used. Yes. What do you, so how do you reply? It's like, I mean, being a woman, I, I know that, I know that I, I am, I mean, if you put me in a room with a man who is physically stronger than me, I can use my smarts to some extent to escape from his brutality, but beyond that, I cannot escape him. I, I mean, if you put me in a corporate world where I have to show my smarts to my intellect, I can be more powerful, but in a very powerful, in a very physical situation, I am the weaker sex, I have to admit it. It's like a child, it's like, uh, you know, a child and an adult, and if you assault a child just because he or she is physically weak, forgive me, but I feel like that when I'm in a ma in, in confronted with a man uh, on a lonely road and if he's most men are physically stronger than me even if I you know even if I work out every day or whatever they're just biologically made like that what do I do with it you know so that's why I feel rape is against uh, I, I don't be, I don't believe it should be put on a pedestal but it's it's an attack against the defenseless don't you think it is okay I can't see her. Uh, yeah don't you think it's also a sort of social construct when we are born, uh, when we are brought up, we are told again and again that you are the weaker, weaker sex. The weaker sex is a social construct. And to stick to that, probably a woman does not train her body in such a manner that she will be able to defend herself in front of a man. But if we are trained in a society where women are also asked to be physically that active and train themselves, who says that a woman cannot combat a man? She probably can. Rape is more severe because it is actually attacking the entire being, the entire entire person of, the entire essence of what a woman is, I believe. So, it is the most heinous that it could be. The problem with Indian society is that we don't, we've never treated this act as, with as much seriousness as it should have been treated. Uh, because it's attacking every, the entire being, and the entire life of, of what a woman is, and it o totally transforms and changes for her after that act is committed. So, it is the most heinous. It's a powerful argument that rape, because it attacks the essence, the being, the essential identity of the woman, it's a crime even more heinous yes. than murder, yes. than uh, an instrumental murder. Sure. Not, yes. a not with a targeted victim, but that may be for the purpose of, in the course of a robbery or something like that. True, yes. All right, who, and tell us your name again. My name is Amar. Amar. All right. Who disagrees with Amar? Everyone's been talking about essence of women and uh, piousness. And the thing is, when someone looks at me and says that you are a woman and let me protect you, you are special. I don't, as a woman, I don't need that. Why? When you give me the idea of caring, you're, you're making me a child. I'm not a child. I don't need to be taken care of. So give me my respect and I mean, I feel very strongly about what does a woman mean and I'm not being really articulate but... You are. <laughs> I disagree with you on that. I, I don't need the care or uh, the, the protection. The protection, uh, it, what is the word, it's, it's demeaning to me because I don't need this kind of protection. I can protect myself. Another point that I wanted to make was... Um, uh, I think, I, I disagree with the gentleman, gentleman there from Delhi that, uh, that, it sh that the fact that we give rape a special status gives us, uh, shows that a society is more mature. I think we're an extremely, extremely sexually repressed society if we give rape a special status. The special status comes only if you give it to, if you compare the penetration of your vagina to the cutting off of your limbs, it's, they're both equally painful, but obviously, like, as she said, you're, my arms are required. I need my arms. I, I, 
I could live with the other kind of violent crime. Uh, I, I think where it just shows that we're a, a society which is giving sex far more importance than it does, and it's demeaning women by caring for us. So by elevating rape to a crime of special status, by punishing it more severely than other forms of brutal physical assault, the effect is actually to entrench what you see as, the, as putting women on a pedestal, but actually uh, uh, in a subordinate position. Yes, when you, you're making them a mother goddess sort of a thing, but you're not giving her powers. You're just saying she's up there, but she can't do anything with it. Let us take care of her. Like, it, it's not that let her go out and take care of herself. It, it's a special, as you said, it's a special status, but it's not a status of power as such. And so we have really here emerging two different ideas about what it means to respect the equality of women. We have one view that says, look, rape is a crime against women. It's a special kind of assault on the dignity and the identity of women. It's a special kind of humiliation and assertion of dominance. And so to respect women is to take rape especially seriously, even compared to murder, it was argued. And then on the other side, we've heard the argument that no, to really to respect and to aspire to true equality, it's a mistake to make rape a special kind of crime because that presupposes traditional attitudes that put women on a pedestal uh, and attribute to them a kind of weakness. So true equality of women, respect for women, means treating rape like any other kind of brutal physical violence. Okay, one more thing that I would like to point out is that if in an island a man rapes a woman and there's no one else present, just that man and that woman, the effect of it and the aftermath would I think probably last 15 or 20 days. That's it. The reason that rape becomes so traumatic is because people are around. It's because people don't let them get over it. So that, that changes the definition of rape also. Because is rape just simply sexual violence or like sexual, uh, you know, encroachment? Or is it mainly a social encroachment of the woman's vagina? Yes. Uh, I would do respect to all the very young women who have been speaking. I'm very impressed with how brave and bold they are. Uh, but the, some thought has to be given to the fact of how long-lasting the effect of any violence or any trauma can be. Nobody gets over a rape in 20 days. That's not going to happen. And the fact of violation is not a social fact. It's not socially, uh, you know, sort of imposed upon you that you've been violated. You know when you're violated, even if you have no connection with society. So violation is a violation. And I think that we have to remember that when we're talking about uh, rape, we're not just talking about virginity. Women of all ages get raped. Men get raped. Boys get raped. So it is definitely a question of, um, I, th I agree with people who said it's a question of dignity, it's an uh, you know, invasion of a person's uh, self, and it is a demeaning act. It is an act of, uh, which, which is, rape is not, not necessarily about sex, it's about power. And it is demeaning. And the the trauma of rape is something which makes it a heinous crime because it is a lifelong trauma. If you have ever spoken to a rape victim, it's not just society, but it is the, you know, the absolute violent um, uh, sort of violation of that person's being, which is, to, which is what stays with them and they will lose their confidence. They are going to uh, remember it for the rest of their lives. It may become less acute, the trauma, but it's something which will destroy them for life, and that is the purpose of the rape. So would you say, for those who say the equality of women would be promoted by treating rape on a par, equally with other forms of brutal physical violence of a non-sexual nature, you would say? I would say that is not, uh, that's a very idealistic point of view, and I know what those women feel because they don't want to be infantilized, and I understand, but as I am, sort of double their age now, I do realize that sometimes you have to level the playing field. Just like we have reservations and things like that, you have to bring people up to that level and then you can level the playing field. While women don't have that status, you can't do that.